The Graph House is a passion-driven project created for the love of graffiti and the community that graffiti represents. Graph House is the first 100% submission-based graffiti zine by writers for writers. If you want to be included in a future zine, or if you even want to support Graph House, be sure to check out their Instagram and website. Of course, the link's at the top of the description or at the top of the comments below, or just simply go to graphhouse.com. Thank you so much to Graph House for sponsoring this video. I highly suggest you guys go check it out, and if you grab anything on the website be sure to use the discount code UFO for 15% off. It's a really awesome idea and it could be a way to get your name out there. Graphhouse.com Things you shouldn't do when doing graffiti. Typically, I'm going to say, please leave a like and a comment, even if it's gibberish. Really helps me out. Number one, you shouldn't do throwies or at a chill spot unless you are practicing. Chill spots are widely known to be more for pieces that take a long time to do and need somewhere chill to take your time with. If you are practicing for your throwies or tags, make sure you aren't painting over or going over anything that looks relatively good. Of course, chill spots are very good if you're practicing pieces, but just be wary of who you're going over. Number two, don't be too intoxicated. Sure, it can be fun getting a little bit loose and going for a mission, but don't go out there completely obliterated because then obviously your senses and awareness will be shot to heck and you're more likely to get pinched. Obviously, it's good to know what's happening around you. And when you are intoxicated, you tend to forget about that kind of stuff. Number three, you shouldn't make heaps of noise. Some is fine, but if you're shaking cans or dropping stuff and there's no other background noise like trains or wind or anything like that, then you're up for some suspicion drawn to you. In most cases, you don't have to be dead silent considering the situation that you're in, but it's just better to be as quiet as you can. Number four, you shouldn't wear the same outfit every time you go out. CCTV is everywhere nowadays, and there's absolutely no doubt that you are on the system's records. Even if you haven't done anything wrong, the entire world is under 24-hour surveillance. Unless, of course, you're in the middle of bum pissy, but to better your chances of not creating creating a digital footpath for yourself, switch up your outfits now and again before you go out there. Number five, you shouldn't randomly start doing graffiti at certain spots without checking out the area. All right, so even if there is cameras in the area, just make sure you aren't looking directly into the camera. Obviously wear a mask to avoid that entirely, and it's best to check what type of traffic is around at the spot. Is there a bit of pedestrian traffic, or is there any actual traffic traffic, like cars? Always see what to outweigh in these circumstances. Is the risk? worth the reward. Number six, you shouldn't look directly at cameras. As I just mentioned, don't look directly into a camera. Most of the time, if cameras do capture you on there, which they probably do, it's almost impossible to really exactly pinpoint who you even are, when all they can see is maybe the side of your face, or in some cases, for some reason, some CCTV cameras are still like potatoes in terms of quality. So you probably just look like a blur walking across in front of it or whatever. Obviously that goes without saying that if you have tattoos or something, cover them up when you're out there. And I wanna mention that a lot of people do point that out in my videos that they can see my tattoos on my arms. I wanna quickly address that while I'm here. I'm really a YouTuber. I don't do graffiti. I don't do destructive graffiti or anything where I would be in that much of a problem or a menace to the city. <laughs> and I'm considered maybe high profile because of my channel, because of my presence online. So if I was to get in trouble or pinched or caught for something, they can kind of find me pretty easy. So I am kind of screwed either way, if you know what I'm saying. It's kind of one of those moments, do what I say, not as I do kind of deal. Number seven, you shouldn't paint over something that is better than what you're about to do. Pick your spots wisely. To avoid beef or any alterations with other writers, I've mentioned this in so many different videos, man. The best thing to do is avoid going over anyone at all costs. But if you can't avoid it, make sure you go over something that that you can top. Number eight, obviously you shouldn't use your real name for graffiti or even a nickname that uses your real name. Obviously that's just a no brainer. Let's move on. Number nine, you should wear headphones while you're painting because you absolutely won't know what's about to sneak up on you potentially. Are you about to be mauled by a bear or rolled by an Eshe down in Hosier Lane? This goes without saying, if you're wearing headphones, you lose a lot of control with the environment around you. If you do want to listen to music while painting, it's best to do it when it's safe. Like if you're painting 
chatting with a bunch of others, put on a Bluetooth speaker at a real chill spot, if of course they're all okay with it. If it's not a real chill spot, then I'd highly advise against it, because of course you don't want to draw too much attention to the spot or what you are even doing there. Number 10. Don't bring too much stuff with you. Bring the absolute bare essentials. Paint and caps is generally all that you need, and of course some water. And let's not forget that massive fat dill. Number 11. Don't breathe in the overspray of the paint. Sure, it might be okay in the short run, but in the long run it really messes with your lungs. Someone actually recently commented on one of my videos asking they would like to see what the inside, what actual lungs look like of a graffiti writer of many years. I dare say it'd be very nasty, and when you're exposed to something like that over time, it progressively takes a toll on your body. So try to avoid at all costs. Number 12. You shouldn't try to use high pressure cans to do pieces with. Different cans call for different types of graffiti. High pressure cans are generally used to do quick fills or big, massive, simple, quick, straight letters, generally speaking. There's heaps of other methods and stuff you can use with high pressure cans, but not to worry, most normal cans are normal pressure. I'd say medium pressure. So you shouldn't really have to worry about high pressure cans unless you're specifically in the market for high pressure cans. Number 13, don't brag to non-graffiti writers that you do graffiti. One day they could probably tell someone who doesn't really enjoy the fact that graffiti is destructive, that graffiti is considered bad in a lot of people's eyes. So telling just one person that you do it could jeopardize everything. Number 14, don't live stream your graffiti mission. If the wrong eye sees it, then there is measures that could be put in place to pinpoint your exact whereabouts. And when you're pinned on the spot when doing graffiti, that's when you actually get screwed. Number 15, don't touch the wet paint. You'll leave evidence everywhere if you're not wearing gloves. Everything that you grab will just have fingerprints over it. Like if you're jumping over a fence, boom, evidence, go to prison. And if you do get stopped while walking home or something, then you'll have paint on your hands to say, wow, you've been doing graffiti. Number 16, if you're just starting out, don't spend all your money on high quality paint. Start with the not so good paint to learn the fundamentals of what good paint is and what bad paint actually is. And of course, you'll save a bunch of cash if you do it this way. Number 17, don't tag trees or nature. I've seen this happen more and more often. It's pretty random and I highly believe that you should not do it. We are already polluting the air with paint. Why target nature, man? Not nature. <laughs> what? I do want to mention a lot of these things that I'm talking about in this current video are very well spot relevant. Certain spots call for certain situations. A lot of it comes down to common sense or even I guess you could say street smart. So always trust your gut. If you feel like something's not right, just go with it. If you feel like, hey, we should probably get out of here. I sense something. Your spidey senses are tinkling. Just get the heck out of there. You should not just hang around if you feel suspicious. Just get out of there. Go. Blank slate for your graffiti and sticker requirement. Use discount code UFO. Have a great day and have a good one. I also want to mention that I do have my podcast episodes in the description below. They're all on YouTube now. Also, we're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys can subscribe, if you're not already, that would be fantastic. And the fact that it's so close, we're like so close to 100,000 now. Thank you guys so much.